In case you haven't noticed, trucks have gone uptown. Motor City is popping buggies like this out its doors just as fast as it can make them. General Motors, more than a million and a half of them annually. Ford and Chrysler, not far behind. The truck industry and the trucking accessory business are actually fueling each other's flames. Changes in design attracted new buyers, increasing market share by almost 80% in just 10 years. That in turn inspired accessory manufacturers to dive in. And the more bells and whistles they offered, the more trucks are sold. Chevy was the first to lead the charge at a time when Trader's Truck Accessories took a gamble also to grow in this direction rather than big rig outfitting. Good move. Today it is king of the hill worldwide for truck accessories. The trend began to blossom and about 89 or 90 I, I would almost uh, wake up on Monday morning assuming there couldn't possibly be another truck to do out there or a customer to sell parts to and it just it just kept on coming and when we'd come out with a new catalog the business would surge so terribly hard that uh, I just kept on going I just thought well I better just hit it as hard as I can for as long as I can and and uh, uh, enjoying it makes it all that much easier there's no stopping in sight and one indication of that is the abundance of trucking magazines highlighting all the custom features anybody would ever want giving a popular appeal to a broad base of consumers from Mavericks all the way to Uptown Girls. You know, you'd buy, a, let's say, a brand new type of a car where it's not acceptable to go out and smooth the bumper and change the headlights and, and start doing things to the interior and, and uh, put graphics down the side of it. Your neighbors wouldn't find that totally acceptable, whereas with a pickup truck, that's, some, that's the way you're supposed to do it now. Um, a truck is just much more useful. I mean, you can do so many more things with a truck than you can do with a car. You can chuck all your, your toys in the back, your jet skis, your boat, your dirt bike. Uh, you can go hunting, shooting, fishing with it. All of those things that you can't do with a car. You can get it in four-wheel drive. It's got tons of ground clearance. It's got tons of presence on the freeway. It feels good to be in there. It's, it's just that whole American dream wrapped up in, a, in the perfect vehicle. With the recognition by Detroit that American women are the decision makers on 50% of the vehicles sold and influenced men on 80% sold, watch for fashion to become ever more evident in trucks and their accessories. In Los Angeles, Bruce Page, First Business.